Hello from a train. Welcome to the next vlog. Um, we are currently on a train going to, where are we going? Windsor. Windsor. It's, a, it's early. We're in beautiful Clapham Junction. <laughs> um, yeah, we're headed to Windsor to meet Tim and This train is for Windsor and Eaton Riverside. The next station is Hackney. Now you know, the more you know. Um, so we should be able to show you a lovely Windsor today, although it is, as you can see, kind of gross out. It's, it's gross out the entire time we're here, but actually, I kind of like it. It's a fresh change from California where it's freaking sunny all the time, so I'm pretty pleased about it. Here's beautiful Windsor and all the people having their phone conversations. There's a, a castle right there. It's a pretty impressive castle, actually. Gonna go get some food first, and then we're gonna go in that castle. As you do. Yeah, yeah oh, we're still doing that. Moving to the north of England at some point. All right, so we have Tim, James, Chris, me. We're gonna have breakfast now, and then we're gonna go see that perfectly acceptable castle up there. I've had a beer with her before, she's awesome. All right, so we have Vicky here. See if I can get her to focus in. Probably not, no, it's just gonna be dark. Cool. And then we have Windsor Castle, which is massive. We're gonna go get inside that. These are gates that we're not allowed to enter through. Yeah. There are guys with guns. These are the only guns that I've seen. But look at this, it just keeps going and going and going and going. We're gonna go in that hole over there. Oh my God, there she is. I love her, she's so cute. Look at how cute she is. Oh my God, you guys, she's here. She's here, see that? That means she's here. I'm so excited. I am a liar, she's not here. That's just the Union Jack and we're looking for the Royal Standard. Flag. Union flag. Union flag. indoors unsurprising um it's what o'clock 2 30 and the floodlights are on already this um sunset was at like 3 45 yesterday so anyway this is the chapel this is the one where the royal weddings happen so we're gonna go in there saint george's chapel all right so this place has like royal lights I'm like, can you see that? There's like the ball down there. The scepter and the orb. That's amazing. Orb. Are you making fun of my, my English, you Britain? This town is super cute. Are you making fun of my English? No, it's the holy hand grenade of Antioch from Monte Python. Oh, that is true, yes. One, two, five, three, so. So I'm on the bridge that crosses the river. Um, between Windsor, which was behind me, and Eaton. And now we are headed to the George pub, which is right there, um, to go have a beer in there, in Eaton. And they have some beautiful lights on their street also. 
We're in St. Martin's of the Fields Church. Um, gonna go see a Bach concerto, a bunch of Bach concertos, maybe some Vivaldi, stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, this is what the church looks like in here. This church is very famous for its singing. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to film any of this, but if I, I am, I will film it for you. And if I'm not, I won't. You'll find out in three, two, one. The answer was no. No, I can't record. Sorry. Um, I can tell you that the guy who was playing the flute and the recorder is a beast on the recorder. Like, damn. Damn. If you ever get a chance to come to a concert at St. Martin in the Fields, definitely come. It's in the middle of Trafalgar Square. <laughs> like, you, can't, you cannot miss this church if you come to London. It's just right in the middle of everything. So, um, but yeah, totally worth the 20 pound tickets. Um, check out this organ back here. That's pretty crazy. This building is beautiful and the sound in here is just like mind-blowingly good. Definitely recommend, but I am tired, like so sleepy. All I wanna do is sleep. And having chamber music is not helping that, but it's just very good and so I'm not falling asleep. Um, next up we have Vivaldi, Mozart, and then another Bach concerto, so. We're on the train to Borough Market. Um, there's Big Ben all wrapped up. And Parliament. And here's the London Eye. It's literally like right by our hotel. Everything's really close here. Going into Borough Market.
I don't know if it's possible to die of yum, but if you can, we might. We just ate all the things. This is exciting. And they were so good. All right, we're headed towards Covent Garden again, but really, we're going here to tomorrow's prayer. Um, for those of you who like tea, this is the stuff. Definitely recommend. All my favorite teas are from here. Mission accomplished, we got so much tea. Now we're gonna head into Peterson Nurseries because they have all kinds of festive British. Look at how beautiful this store is. So lovely. All right, we're at this place called Layered Hats. I'm just stopping to like poke in the window for you guys because they do all these custom hats here. And then they have ones in all different hat sizes for gentlemen. Look at how beautiful all those hats are. All kinds of hats. They have ladies. That's the hat right there. It's a fine hat. It's a fine hat. I'm inside. Look at all that. They hand make all these hats. And they're in every size. How lovely. Layered hats. Now this sweet shop, oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna go in there because I'm still so full from lunch, but yum. Christmas time in the city. Oh, London, you're so amazing. And it's just like this all the time. It's almost fake, but in fact, it's real. It's what all the fake stuff is based on. Good morning, it is. Thursday. If I was in the United States, it would be Thanksgiving. I am sopping wet, but not because it's raining outside, because I am freshly cleaned. Um, we are going to Spitalfields to meet up with Constance, who is sick. Poor thing. I don't know why she's coming here if she's sick, but she is, so we'll see. Maybe she's a little bit better. Um, we went and saw Ian McKellen last night, and that was amazing. Um, he spent the first half talking kind of about his life and like different theater things he did and stuff like that. It was really good. And the second half, he pulled out every single play by William Shakespeare and either talked about it, talked about when he was in it, because he's been in almost all of them. I think there's like one he wasn't in. Um, in one of them, he was the first production that ever played of it. 
Um, so he is the last actor to ever invent a role for William Shakespeare. Um, or he did a reading from them. Like he, he just has speeches like in his head, as you do when you're an actor. Anyway, we're gonna go get on the subway, ride for half an hour, and go see Constance. And I'll show you his build fields. It's the antique market today, so that should be even more interesting. Okay, we're at Spittlefields Market. I'll show you that in a minute. We have Constance, who is poorly, so I'm not gonna put her on camera too much. Uh, she made me slow gin, which I've never tried before, and I'm super excited about. I'm gonna attempt to bring this home. I don't, I feel like, what if I attempt and I fail? Then I just won't have it at all. Should I just try to get really trashed and drink this in the next day? Saturday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. Constance gave me slow gin. <laughs> Do you know it's two hours to go to Nottingham but three hours to come home? Uh, well, that sounds about right, yeah. It's ridiculous. Different train lines for some reason. beautiful these tables are it's just amazing we're in this beautiful street in which apparently Constance says that there's lots of movie filming that happens and in fact there's some sort of fashion shoot going on here we are what what town are we in uh, we're just left Spitalfields Market so we're sort of in the Brick Lane Shoreditchy area yeah. in bougie land or trendy East London is trendy how I generally refer to it. East London. Okay, so we found a pub that will feed us turkey dinner, which is uh, amazing on Thanksgiving. And uh, we're going to get one of those and a camembert and some salad and some chips and call that our Thanksgiving dinner. It should be delicious. Also delicious, sweet honey nectar of the gods. Yay, happy Thanksgiving to us. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, look, Brussels sprouts. Husband does not like Brussels sprouts. <sighs> okay, so we're back from dinner. Um, I think I'm gonna call this vlog here. It's been like three days. Um, I had a great day with Constance. We hung out at Spitalfields and then we just went for a walk basically. Looked around that area. Um, Shoreditch, which I've never been to. Then sat in a pub and had a chat, like you do. So that was fun. Ugh, I am right at a tree from being out in the cold. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we had a really good time, um, and then we just went to get food and had a little sit. We're having an evening of not having plans, and it is lovely, let me tell you. Normally, every single day that we're out is, like, a thing, so 
<clears throat> we have plans every night to go to a theater or a concert or whatever and that's great and I have a really good time doing that but also sometimes it's nice to just chill so that's what we're doing anyway that's what's what and uh so I'm gonna call this vlog here if you liked it give it a thumbs up I will do one more vlog from the road with tomorrow we're supposed to go to two exhibits one is Leonardo da Vinci and one is the pre-Raphaelite exhibit I have no idea if I'm allowed to film in there maybe maybe not we'll see um and then uh tomorrow night we're gonna go see James McAvoy do Sarah de Bergerac tomorrow might be short because <laughs> if I can't film anything for you then that's fine we're, we are planning to go to Mina Lima which is the people who do the art for all of the things in Harry Potter so like um the spell books and anything that happens in Zonko's shop or um you know Fred and George's shop or any any like paper thing I guess is the best way to put it any newspaper any of that kind of stuff is all from there um and they the Mina Lima are the two people who um Mina and Lima I think one's a first name and one's a last name, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, they um, do all the art for Harry Potter and for Fantastic Beasts and stuff. So um, I've bought a few of their art pieces before. So we like to go to their shop because it's pretty awesome. I don't know if they'll let me film in there. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time with one more vlog before we go home. And then the beginning of December will be kind of weird not sure what's gonna happen yet um after my party which is on the 14th things will go back to normal <laughs> all right i'll see you guys uh next time bye